There we go. Now, I just left out of my greenhouse. And these are my tomatoes. At first I had no clue what these were, but guess what? I think they're Roma tomatoes. If I'm incorrect, let me know. But as you can see, some of them just get small and then they ripen. Others are much larger. So we'll see what happens here. But you have to check this out. This is my cucumber bush that just kind of, I don't know, just did not go well this year. So, so I've tried everything, watering everything. I was thinking about just cutting it back and letting it go. No cute cucumbers. Wait a minute. Nope, nothing. I think what killed it is my battle with all of the pine needles. Maybe it was too much. As you can see, this is my battle. I do this almost every week. I have to come out, sweep up all the pine needles that gets behind my plants and everything else. But anyway, can't remember what I had in there, but it died. As you can see, it's mostly pine needles. But this is, I think it's a watermelon plant. I'm not sure which one it is. We'll only find out when they start coming in. This is a tomato plant, which is obviously indeterminate. And this one is supposed to be beefsteak. And as you can see, this is a gorgeous one on here. So, but I think I'm gonna take him off because here of lately, what's been happening, he's starting to ripen, is tomato worms or I get this problem. Can y'all, can you all see? Let me see, get the camera, yeah. Can you all see that? I have no clue, I guess there's damage. And most of the tomatoes on this bush, if I don't pull them at the first sign of ripening, that's what happens when they get to that point. So I have no clue what's going on. And this, I think it was basil, but she's bolting, so I let it go. Another tomato bush, which is, I have no clue what this thing is doing. And this one only gets, as you can see, I'm sorry, but the tomato steaks in I get all these bugs and and I think that's a tomato worm or that's the bottom of the tomato. I can't tell. <laughs> Sorry. And what's going on there? So it's been kind of rough out here lately. But this is for all the things that's on this side of the greenhouse. All these are on the side of my greenhouse. But here's the amazing thing. If I come back over here to this side, I have pallets and raised beds over here. This is a 100 pound grow bag. And it's got two watermelon plants in it. And look there. And I've got them in other places. I can't see, I'm afraid to step on something. I might kill them. But look at this beautiful baby right here. Look how big that is, right there. Look how big she is compared to the tomato. So the watermelons are growing pretty good. I've got a number of them in there. I just can't see them. And I tend to be a little clumsy, so I don't want to break anything. And I think there was one growing on here, but we'll see another basil plant these things are bolting so I have to cut them this is my Carolina cross watermelon plant is growing I had to put some netting around it and the forks in the bed because of the cats stray cats 
I have these are my bush beans which are looking pretty good and that's them from the bottom so those are growing I think this was I can't remember if this was cabbage or greens someone said they were mustards or turnips this is one of those that I can't identify when I dropped all my starts so this is what's going on so basically that's the best thing that my garden is doing these are my collards I'm waiting for them to get a little bit bigger before I start separating them I'm going to spread them out to the other side of this bed and have collards so it looks as though everything on this side oh I forgot one more thing this is my okra plant I already pulled one okra it looks like I'm gonna have to cut off all the bottom leaves um, do some trimming on it cut off all the bottom leaves but it looks like everything on this side is being fairly productive is being productive if I'm a little bit off, this is my first time going live and doing all this stuff. But on this side, it looks pretty productive where I have the raised garden beds and things like that. And this watermelon plant is just absolutely ridiculous. I have a lot of melons in there somewhere. Oh, and here's one that decided to grow <laughs> up in the bed where I have my collards growing. It's vine is just taking over every place. So, so far, that looks to be one of the best things I have. But like I said, I think what's killing a lot of this is too much from the pine tree. This is the bane of my existence. This monstrosity, and that is right over the greenhouse. I've been trying to get someone to cut it, but I can't. But I know pine needles are supposed to be good, but guess what? Too much of a good thing is a... Okay, as to uh, IGT grows, I have no clue what kind of okra I'm going. <laughs> I have absolutely no clue what kind. And from my first year gardening, there's, there's a lot of questions I have this year so far. But that's what it's doing, but this cucumber plant has just gotten ridiculously big something's attacking it but there is literally not one cucumber on this entire thing so I'm thinking about pulling it what do you think but anyway that's what's going on in the garden so far it's I would say my fifth first year I would I'd probably give myself a B minus <laughs> but that's how I grade myself but I'm really excited about the watermelon plant this is the best growing thing I have out here so far so I figure something is better than nothing and like I said I only pulled one okra from that plant from that okra plant and then my husband told me I never noticed it and my husband told me that I let it get too long so he pulled it and it is what it is but I don't know what this is couldn't anybody kind of identify this can you kind of identify this if you recognize it this was when I dropped all my starts and just kind of planted stuff that looked alike but Thanks for being here, GT Grows, and who else? That was it. Thank you for being here for my first live. <laughs> so I think maybe next year, well, hopefully by before the year is out, I'll have that branch cut, which will help a lot over my greenhouse. And maybe things will grow better. But I'm still proud of what I've done this year. I built a greenhouse, I planted some vegetables, and 
it was, it's a great learning experience. Which leaves right here? These leaves? Or what are you talking about? The okra? What are you talking about? The okra plant? Or the cucumber plant that's dying? GT. And the mosquitoes I heard here are really bad. Um, hey Mike, how are you doing? So this one, because could do you know what kind of okra this is? If you can identify it. These are the leaves and I have no idea something looks like it's eating it. And this is the okra plant. But as you can see in the center, she's still be she's still blooming. And these are the ones I can't identify. I have no idea. Look like again something's eating it. And what's a good non-chemical insecticide to use? The plant, I don't know what it is. These are the ones I don't know what they are. I'm not sure if they're greens or cabbage, but I don't think it's cabbage. Is it mustard or is it a mustard green? Have no clue. Okay. Why you think you can identify this for me? Well, this is the best looking one. I'll give you the one with the pretty leaves. I have no clue. I'm not sure what they are. Because I'm sure, I'm concerned that if I should have been harvesting something now. <laughs> Mustard greens. Okay. That's what those are. So I should be pulling some of those, shouldn't I? Or at least pulling off the bad leaves. You think that would help? And my bush beans look good. So let me ask you a question here, Mike and or uh, GT. <laughs> what do you think happened here? Because there is not a cucumber on this bush. Not one, not flower. I've I've went looked in real close. I saw some females. Like, is that supposed to be a female right there? And that's as. But wait a minute. I saw something strange climbing. Yeah. What the heck is that? Is that a squash bug? It's a little ugly looking thing. I've seen some strange looking, I think the bugs and the pine, it's, it's, I think this one is just a, just a loss. I think the bugs are just feasting. I have no idea. I just saw something that I think might be a squash bug. Yeah, well, I have had a number of females on here. And that's it. There's just females. I've identified some male plants on here also. But I'm thinking it just might be the pines. Yeah, but what you saw was as far as they get, then they die. They don't get any bigger than what you saw. So, I have no idea. I'm at a loss when it comes to this. Maybe next year I'll plant it on the other side where the other plants are going. And maybe it will do better. But, uh, something is having a great time eating it. And I have to get out here and...
uh, fish fertilizer. I will give that a try. I'll have to go and look for that today. But like I said, the Roma tomatoes the leaves look horrible, but there's a lot of fruit on there. A lot of fruit. I've never had a Roma tomato before, so it's a good experience. I hope they have a good taste to them. So, I will definitely try it and I will let you know about the fish fertilizer. But anyway, I just wanted you all to take a good look at what's looking good, what my challenges are, what's going on. And I'm going to make this first one short. And thanks everybody who's here. Uh, Fifi, how you doing Fifi? And uh, I really appreciate your input. If you see anything else, if you've missed it, please go back through. Maybe you can help me with a few things because I, my, I've always learned that when you want to get something right, always ask those who have the experience. And y'all have a great, great, great rest of your day and rest of your week. We're currently here. It's like 101 in the heat. So in about 96 degrees, but you all take care. Jones Truth out. Ooh.